Skin of Time, starting with Serena Williams. Okay, we all did feel so badly for her when she didn't win the U.S. Open and that special Grand Slam that she'd been going for. Yeah, but she was a total winner at New York Fashion Week. Serena's second collection, and she looks great for her own fashion line, featured a lot of fringe leather and suede. Her collection for HSN is taking high fashion to a wider base of fans as well. Serena admitted that she's been busy juggling it all, also maybe juggling oh. a romance. Drake, you see there in the front row, right next to Anna Winter. His music was also the soundtrack for the runway fashion show. Afterwards, Serena all smiles, saying that she could finally breathe. And another A-lister in the crowd would like to mention, boom, there she is. Look at that, <laughs> look at that. Looking beautiful and gorgeous as ever. A fan of Serena's and her fashion line too. I love that outfit. Looks great. She looks stunning. And it was stunning. a success. It was a success despite Drake being there. Oh, come on. We love our Drake. Our Robin Blake. Roberts, as you saw right there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and so that go that ahead. just Kate. Right? She's not the only European with a reputation as a fashion trendsetter. Yeah, uh, Spain's Queen Letizia, Letizia gets high marks for her feminine and elegant style. She and her husband, King Felipe I, are visiting the United States. They went to George Washington's home in Mount Vernon. And they stopped by Capitol Hill to meet a group of senators. The Spanish royals also visited the White House. The Queen got a tour of, the, of Mrs. Obama's organic garden. The fashionista say that she's someone to keep your eye on. I tell you, she is also always dressed to the nines, looks gorgeous and wherever she is. So incredibly popular in Spain. And at first this morning, a remake of the movie Jungle Book. Fascinating look, a live action CGI, a real 10-year-old boy as a lead character, Mowgli, and some Hollywood's top actors are giving a voice to the animals. Yes, Scarlett Johansson plays a python whose soothing tones lure the boy on his journey through the jungle. Let go of your fear now. And trust in me. The Jungle Book, a Disney movie, will be in theaters next April. Okay, Bradley Cooper says he's always been around kitchens, so for his next starring role, he didn't need a stunt double in the movie Burnt. Cooper plays a once promising chef trying to come back. The kitchen's the only place I've ever felt like I really belonged. I loved every minute of it the heat, the pressure, the violence. Wow, you can see if he gets it right in Burnt, which comes out on October 23rd.